Hello and welcome today. Today I'm going to talk about something that people, especially when they're first starting the keto diet, what they are very concerned about and that is am I in ketosis or not? Because you know that's the whole goal of the keto lifestyle is to stay in a state of ketosis where you are burning um, fat. So I'm going to talk about that today. Hi, I'm Tiffany, and I'm here to guide you on your journey to the keto lifestyle. Let's get started. So the method that I use to make sure that I am in a state of ketosis are these little keto strips or keto sticks, as some people call them. And they're really easy to use. Um, they only cost about seven or eight bucks, so it's not a lot of money that you have to shell out in order to keep that peace of mind that you are really in a state of ketosis. And so the way that they work, it's really, really simple. They just have these little strips right here, and I don't know if you can see it, but at the, on the end there's like a little square little pad there. And so what you do is you um, pee on these. And then it says to wait about 15 seconds. Really, it only takes about like one second. Um, and then you check to see what color that little square pad is, okay? And then on the side of the bottle, there's a little um, rating right here where you match what color that little square pad is to the different colors that are on this rating that are on the, on the bottle here. And... There it like rates from zero ketones that it detects to trace to small to moderate and on up. And, um, you know, it works really great. Now, these are the only kind that I recommend. These are the only kind I use that I use. I have used a lot of different brands, and these are the ones that I like the most and the only ones I recommend. And I'll drop a link below so that you can get some of these if you wish to do so as well. So now a lot of people wonder where am I supposed to be testing on this rating? Well, I will tell you that where I normally test is right here in the middle at moderate, the like dark mauve color. That's where I am probably 95% of the time. Some people test a little bit less, some people test a little bit more, but I'm generally right there in the middle and that works for me and that's, you know, that's great. Um, basically, as long as you are testing somewhere on here and you're not at zero, then you are in ketosis. Basically, what these sticks tell you is black or white. Am I in ketosis or am I not? Okay. So that's all there is to it. And like I said, I'll drop the link to these at the bottom if you want to get some for yourself. These sticks will definitely tell you if you are in ketosis or not. But another way that I use these, really the main way at this point, is that these are like motivation for me, okay? So like, I test with these multiple times a day, more times than I would like to admit. But it's not because I'm worrying, am I in ketosis? Have I gotten kicked out of ketosis? Oh no, what's going on? It's because these are just motivation for me. Whenever I see that mauve, that nice mauve color come on here, that's like a reward for me. So I use these for motivation. I know a lot of people who do. In fact, my sister is also um, on the keto way of eating. And what we'll do a lot is whenever we, you know, think we're, you know, have a really good color or something or whatever, we'll take a picture and we'll like text it to the other one. And then the other one gets to say, you know, woohoo, yay, you know, going good, you know, keep it up. And so a little funny thing that we do. And um, now many people, We'll say, oh, the keto sticks are not accurate, they don't work, you shouldn't use them. Well, what I would challenge you to do is go cheat. Go have a really carb-heavy meal and then come back and test. I guarantee you they do work. I remember at first I had that little you know, thought in the back of my mind of these really, do they work, is it real? And so... Um, one night I went to go have a big dinner with my family at a Japanese restaurant and I had a very carb heavy meal full of rice and all kinds of rich sauces, all kinds of stuff. And that afternoon I'd been, you know, pretty, you know, pretty at that moderate level that I usually test at, doing fine like normal. And so later that night at home I tested and you know what? I tested at zero. 
So I'm here to tell you, my friend, these do tell you if you are in ketosis or not. So there are other ways to um, test to see if you are in ketosis or not. And one of them is through blood testing. You can go out and buy a blood meter and you can test your blood. Some people say that's the most accurate method. Um, it's, it, from what I understand, it's pretty expensive. Um, I have never tested using, you know, with a blood meter and I never plan to, but if you want to, that's perfectly fine. So that's one, another, you know, one way, another way that you can test to see if you're in ketosis. Um, another way is through your breath. And some people don't know this, but ketones are excreted through your breath. So there's actually ways that you can test with a, I don't know, a breathalyzer type thing where it'll test on the amount of ketones that are in your breath. But another much, you know, zero cost way to, to know, you know, if there's ketones in your breath, especially if you're be just beginning the keto diet, is, is your, you know, even if you brush your teeth, you have kind of a weird yucky taste in your mouth, kind of metallic, that's a sign that you're in ketosis. Um, and then unfortunately, sometimes, especially at the beginning, when you start the diet, you'll have what's called keto breath, which is, you know, kind of, it's bad breath, kind of a sickly, kind of sweet smell. And so if you have that, you know that you're in ketosis. Um, for that, I would recommend maybe carrying around, you know, some sugar-free mints or sugar-free gum to combat that. And then, um, you know, also another way, especially at the beginning, whenever you're not, you know, not completely up on the keto lifestyle, is if you're suddenly really thirsty all the time. So that's a sign that you're in ketosis. And let me say here that, Whenever you are um, on the keto lifestyle, you do need to stay hydrated at all times. It's very, very important. So if you do find yourself really, really thirsty, that is a sign not only that you're in ketosis, but that you need to hydrate more, okay? It's very important to stay hydrated whenever you are um, working the keto lifestyle. So as always, I hope this has been helpful to you and I would encourage you to like and subscribe and send me a comment below. I always love that. And as always, stay strong and keto on. Bye for now.